Let's see. We, uh, oh, we've already met Blue Sky. We're there, you guys. I didn't even notice. <laughs> All right, cool. We are now officially at the Blue Sky stage. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get started with uh, setting up some heaters and some drills um, and start fast-tracking our terraformation to the blue sky stage. We are 65% of the way there. Um, I have set up one more uh, food processor here. Uh, so we have a total of nine, it looks like, and that should be plenty to sustain us. I also put in a, another storage locker to, to start storing the excess food. And speaking of which, why don't we go ahead and just get ourselves completely topped off here, or at least as close as possible to being topped off without wasting any of it. Uh, all right, so also I went out on one um, mineral gathering sesh off camera, and way over there I found another blue crate that I had, you know, hadn't seen before. And among other things in that blue crate, we got another microchip so let's do that first and see what we get a big living compartment nice okay that'll come in handy when we uh, start doing our our main base build uh okay so let's let's get some heaters going first uh we can make the tier three heater but we need an iridium rod and i'm not sure exactly how we do that i think what happens is when we unlock this advanced crafting station, I think we can make them in there, but I'm not 100% positive. Uh, but we're not going to wait for that. Uh, we're we're going to start putting in some tier 2 heaters. Um, so why don't we just go ahead and deconstruct this right now to get some of those parts back. And then to make tier 2 heaters, we're going to need two iridiums, silicone, titanium, iron, and aluminum. Um, okay, so... Uh, we have one aluminum there. I did a little bit of organization. Uh, so we got iron there, titanium, silicon, aluminum, magnesium, ice, and cobalt. Um, but, I mean, with these small crates, because, you know, you're putting stuff in and taking it out so many times, it's it's not that big deal. But I thought, I, I thought I'd do it just for the hell of it. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. We got everything we need to make the first heater. Okay, I, I did put one additional solar panel up to support uh, all of this stuff too. So I don't know. I don't know how our power is gonna be able to handle all this, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so it could handle that one. Um, let's see if we can do a second one. So we need two more iridium, an iron, a titanium. Uh, oh, I guess I had an extra tight. Uh, I had a little bit of overflow titanium in there. The nice thing about organizing it like this, though, is you kind of, you know, see how much you have of everything. Uh, what's the matter? Oh, thirsty. Okay, let's make sure we make another water. Um. Okay, back to this. Uh, we need a silicon and an aluminum. All right, let's make this one and see what if it tanks our power. Nope, we're good to go. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll probably we're gonna make more heaters too, but let's now make a couple of T2 drills. So we're gonna need uh, two titanium per drill and one iron per drill. Alright, let's go out here. We might as well just pull this little sucker down. So T2 drill, we'll kind of line it up with that more or less. And let's do a second one. Oh, actually, you know what I want to do? Um, I want to put this down so that it's at a right angle. So that way we'll be able to line it up easier. Just so it's as straight as we can get it. Uh, T2. Okay. Go there. Pull it back a little bit. Okay, that works. 
Good. So we got two T2 drills, two T2 heaters. Let's take a look at our power. Um, right here. We have 53 kilowatts available. Okay. Um, how much power is this use? Only 4.2. Okay, so let's do four more heaters. Two, three, four. Two silicons, two aluminums. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. And two titaniums. We need one iron. <clears throat> okay, let's do two more T2 drills. How's our power looking? Yeah, we got lots of power, actually. Uh, let's see. So we're going to need two irons and four titaniums. there and right about there excellent okay so that should uh start increasing our climb to blue sky quite a quite a bit more see now we're already at 70 percent there it's moving a lot faster um now that we got the heat and the pressure going that's a beautiful thing all right let's see here let's look at this i think we've made everything in here that we can oh and we haven't made these these drill speed chip thingies um we might as well do that that'll help us ultimately speed things up so we need to make these in succession so we need mag silicon and aluminum uh silicon magnesium and i think that's our last aluminum so we're gonna have to go on another aluminum run all right let's make this mining speed uh, 10 percent time reduction Oh, shit. You know what? We, we don't have space for that. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to wait till we get to our next exoskeleton, which is going to happen here. So we just need to get our heat up to 10 NK. And it's climbing reasonably fast, but it's going to be a little bit before that's ready. Okay, so two deconstruction. Okay, we could get our when we make these little component parts, we can get them the resources back from the recycling machine. But hmm, don't I want to make that right now? We have enough super alloy to do that. Nah, I don't think so. I think we're just gonna sit on this chip because we're gonna need it anyways. Uh, like we're sitting on the compass chip until the time comes. Um, okay, so why don't we... What are you guys at? 83%. Why don't we put another... heater and another T2 drill down. Except for that we can't do another heater until we find some more aluminum. Just double checking to make sure... I don't actually have any aluminum, which I don't. Uh, all right, so we can do an, another drill, though. T2 drill. Let's do actually two more drills. Excellent. Okay. Um, let's look and see, too. What is the pressure unlock? That's uh, here. Living glass floor. All right. Yeah, we don't care so much about that. I mean, it'll be nice, you know, for the build later on. But when we get the communication antenna, then it's going to start opening up some, some storyline for us here in the game, which is kind of cool. Um, it, it's interesting how they did this, though, because some of the stuff they tell you when you start getting into that is actually stuff 
that would have been useful to know right at the very beginning of the game. Uh, so it's just kind of a weird design decision uh, on their part. 89%. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until the next batch of crops are ready to go. Um, and then harvest those, get completely filled up on our food, and then we'll go do another aluminum run. And I think I'm going to pick up a couple of those other really high-end ores like the Osmosium or whatever the hell that was called. And the Quartz, uh, no, the Quasar Crystal. Um, I don't know if that unlocks anything when we pick them up, but we'll pick them up anyways because I'm sure we're going to need them later. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, the, the food uh, is is ready to go. Uh, let's pick that first. Uh, all except for the last one I think we added. So we'll just let that one get caught up. Yeah, this one here. Beautiful. Okay, we'll put all this food in here. Look at that, a surplus of food, even though it's eggplant. <laughs> uh, let's take one extra food with us. Um, that we can top off with and uh, let's see we also had the communication antenna unlock as well as the transmission screen I'm gonna hold off on those those aren't essential we will we'll definitely do them but they're just not essential right at the moment um, and oh good we just got the the exoskeleton perfect we are gonna make that if we can all right well shoot we're we're missing aluminum uh, for that okay well, that's why we need to go out and get aluminum. So, uh, let's uh, let's see. We got two waters. We got two O2s. Let's go. Let's do it. Um, and, and one thing that we have going for us now, too, is that we have 30% uh, movement speed. Uh, so that's just going to make this all that much better. Main goal here is to grab aluminum, but we will uh, also grab. Uh, we do need some more iron too, but let's hold off on that because we can get iron more easily wherever, you know. So we'll, we'll grab a couple of those uh, Oz medium, whatever the hell you say, however you call it, thingies. We'll grab the quartz crystal. Is that a... That's just a, a Huzma, was it? Yeah, cobalt. Okay. The Oz... Osmidium Mosium Museum looks a lot like the Pulsar Quest Crystal. Quartz containing a trem tremendous amounts of energy. Okay, cool. Osmosium. They look like the cobalt is what I was trying to get my uh, mouth to say. My brain was trying to get my mouth to say that. All right. Uh, I think this is aluminum here. No. Zeolite. Jeez, that doesn't even have a description. Wow, there are also all kinds of weird ore in this this biome. Uh, we haven't really gone south either, so we can do that. Do I have anything in these? Oh, I do have some stuff in here. Okay, we'll have to get that back at some point. Not a huge priority right now, though. Mostly looking for aluminum. I think this is one of the uh, thingies. What did we call? Okay, what is this? Osmium. Okay, no description on that either. It's just cobalt. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna gather up a lot of these. I guess what you'd call exotic ores. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. Alright, that's a lot of stuff. Let's just leave that in there for now. Uh, there's aluminum. Grab another pulsar quartz and another osmium. Silicon. Uh, here we go. Super alloy. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Awesome possum. So 
we have three osmiums, three pulse quartz thingies. Aluminum there. Oxygen's getting low. Uh, I think we have a shack over here somewhere, don't we? Yeah, we're not going to make it. Okay, let's just fill up uh, the rest of the way on aluminum unless we find another super alloy. I'm kind of moving a little more to the south than we have before. Oh, that was weird. There's a decent amount of iron and others. Oh, look at this. Other stuff in here, too. Okay, we'll take the super alloy. We'll eat the space food, which topped us off completely. And we'll leave the rest of that basic stuff in there for now. All right, that gets us topped off. Let's go home. Make some more stuff. Okay, I think we have enough aluminum to warrant putting it all in its own chest for the moment. And we'll, whoops, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we'll put the super alloys in here. And also the pulse quartzes and the osmiums. This zeolite, I guess we'll put in there for now. Okay, so we need to replenish iron, um, uh, whatever the stuff's called, titanium. Could use a little more silicon, a little more quartz, more cobalt than ice. So let's go out and just kind of have a, a general gathering sesh. You're 100%. Okay, I'm going to leave this in here until all of them catch up to it so they're all on the same clock. Um, so we basically need a little bit of everything. So we're... Um, oh, right. Before we do that, though, let's make this exoskeleton tier 2. We were waiting on aluminum for that. And then we can do the mining chips. Okay, so we need a titanium, a silicon... And two mags. Titanium, silicon, two magnesiums. There we go. And uh, it, gives, it gives us this extra row here. Okay, so that means we can now put the mining chip in. That doesn't, that's, we already have that, so that doesn't do us any good for now. Um, to do the second level mining speed, we need a silicon and a super alloy. Silicon and a super. And this is going to give us 20% mining reduction. Uh, there we go. Tier 2. And can we do the third level? That'll give us a 30% reduction. Yeah, so silicon, aluminum, and super alloy. Silicon, aluminum, and another super. There we go. All right. 30% mining time reduction. That's going to definitely be useful. Let's make another water. And let's also make another oxygen. And we're going to we'll wait just a little bit longer for the food before we eat this. Okay. So what I'd like to actually do is I'd like to go... Uh, we almost have blue sky, guys. I mean, it's already blue, but it's not technically there yet on the index. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, I'd like to actually kind of go 
to the northwest here um, and just up these hills and see if there's anything beyond them. I don't think there is, but let's check it out anyway. And let's, uh, where's our pod at? Here it is. Let's just top off our O2. Uh, one thing I'm mildly concerned about is running out of ice. Um, and so I'm hoping that up in the hills here, we, we have still have quite a bit of ice and I think we probably will because, um, I'm not sure at what point we will, we'll, we'll actually be able to get water to drink. Um, cause we got to go to, to the blue sky stage. Then we have to go to the clouds stage. And then I think it starts raining at that point, but we might need to get to an, an even higher stage before we have standing water to the point where we can drink it. But I'm not entirely sure about that. So, oh, this does kind of go, oh, wow. There's a whole nother biome over here. What in the heck is that? Not sure what the hell that is. It deserves a screenshot, though. Okay. Um. But also, this makes me feel a little bit better because there's a ton of a uh, ton of ice over here. So you know what we should probably do? Let's make ourselves a. Uh, A hut over here for for air because it looks like we're gonna probably be coming over here uh, what do I need I need three iron and two titanium all right so we just need to find some iron there's one yeah we're not gonna probably not gonna make it before we have to take our O2 bottle, but that's all right. Here we go. Yeah, so let's set up a an outpost building here. What just happened? Oh, nice. We got the T3 drill. Excellent. Oh, we need one more piece of iron. Should we go down there? <laughs> well, the answer to that is yes or or no, depending upon your perspective. <laughs> but uh, I'm just curious as as to what all that's all about. All right, so let's uh, do our door. There we go. We can top off our O2. Um, maybe we should also make a container and a. Tier one or tier two crafting. So we need an iron and a silicon. We need two irons and a silicon. There's another iron there. Uh, there's another iron there. Okay, good. But you know, now that I see that there's still a gob of ice over here, I'm not worried about ice now. We'll be fine. I just didn't know that this was over here. I, I assumed that once we got over that hill, that was the end of the map. But obviously, I was incorrect about that, which is a good thing. Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for a silicon. Um, let's take these two guys as well. Not seeing any silicon around here. Here's some. Maybe there's something like really valuable down inside that crater or maybe there's like a, another derelict or something I don't know we're gonna find out even if it kills us okay let's put this down and we'll put uh, you know what we should actually do yeah we can do that right now let's let's just start using the bigger ones Nice. Okay, let's take this. Um, we'll put the silicon in there. We have one O2. I'd like to have 
a couple more O2s and maybe another water as well before we go down there because I don't know what's going to happen. It might be not, no big deal at all or it might be something crazy. We might get stuck. Don't know. Okay, so we have two waters and two O2s. I'm going to do a quick game save too. <clears throat> okay. Let's go down here and see see what this is all about. Like I said, this could be a very bad idea or the smartest thing we've done yet. I don't know. It really goes down here, doesn't it? that climb you gotta be kidding me water and oxygen bottles and food how interesting what does this have to say I thought I found the perfect meteor crater. Oh, nice. We got the advanced craft station. I thought I found the perfect meteor crater to build my launch platform, but the visibility is atrocious. There's no way I'll be able to send anything from down here. I will try to make another base higher on the crater rim, somewhere near some coordinates. That should work. Hopefully the fog will fade away soon. Eklos. Wow. What a trip, man. Okay. Um... Let's take the iridium and the waters. I think I think we'll leave the rest of that there for now. We'll take the space food and eat it right now. And I mean, yeah, I guess let's take all of these. Interesting. Okay. Uh what is Oh, that's just ice. Okay. Um, now what's this glowing business? That that looks like a a meteor that fell down, you know, like a big giant asteroid meteor. That doesn't do anything. It doesn't when we look at it, it doesn't give us an option to scan it or mine it or anything like that. I'm just wondering if there's anything else special down here. That was cool that we found. Oh, here we go. That we found that place. We'll take the microchip and the water in that. Uh, we'll leave the rest of the basic stuff there for now. So let's just kind of work our way around this crater. Right, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, we're, we're definitely fine as far as ice goes, though. Oh, you can mine iridium down here. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, we have, we already have a couple pieces though, so let's not worry about that right now. Here's another chest. Okay, we'll take the space food. Uh, we don't really need the, well, yeah, let's take the Shanga seed. We may, we might need that eventually. Let's see. We have, yeah, we have two more O2s. So we should be able to stay down here just a little bit more. Oh, you know what? Um, one of the start options for the game, I think it says something like the crater. I wonder if this is the place that, the, that you would actually start down here. Interesting. Oxygen's getting low. Just want to see if there's any mirror. Okay. Is this the same one we went in before? Yes, it is. Okay, so we've basically gone full circle then. Uh, what's the matter? O2. All right, well, we might as well grab all of this stuff then. Uh, yeah, let's grab all of that. And I think we came down 
somewhere around up that way. So we have to basically spam the jump bar to get up these really steep hills. Um, okay, so, um, let's just head back. I'm going to eat this now just to save us a lot. I know we're wasting a little bit of it, but food is no longer an issue for us. I would not have done that if we were still in dire straits with food, but we're no longer in dire straits. And again, I'm just really glad that um, this whole biome's over here, particularly for the ice, because like I said, I was starting to get a little concerned that we might run out of ice before we get to water. The other question too is, is there even more beyond the edge of this crater? I don't know. More exploration is in store for us. Once we get the, yeah, see, there's a ship way the hell over there. We're gonna have to go check that out. Um, once we get uh, our jetpack, you know, then we'll really be able to travel in style and cover a lot of ground. But right now, you know, our 30% movement speed boots are definitely helping in that regard for sure. Let's see. We, uh, oh, we've already met Blue Sky. We're there, you guys. I didn't even notice. <laughs> All right, cool. We are now officially at the Blue Sky stage. Darn. It's too bad we didn't notice that. We could have... We could have jumped for Troy, but that's all right. All right, this is awesome. It's just, it, it really changes the, I guess the word is vibrance uh, of everything, you know, having the blue sky over because that's just what we're used to as humans, you know, uh, of the place. It makes, it makes the rest of the colors pop more, you know. Uh, what are we doing? Water. We gotta go see if there's anything inside that cave over there too, at some point. Lots to do. And you know, the nice thing is, is that now that we're not struggling uh, for food every second, uh, we, we have some time to kind of relax and, in, and enjoy things a little more and do a little more exploration and that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, we are already 8% towards clouds. That is amazing. We've hit blue sky. Love it. All right, you guys. Well, um, that is it for this episode. And uh, so I'm trying to think if I'm going to do, excuse me, do a whole lot off camera. What I think I will do is I think I will, I'll just gather enough resources up to, to fill these, you know, back up with, with what they're, they're supposed to have in them. Um, and then we'll start the next episode. Uh, just in case it happens off camera. Um, oh, we need to make this advanced craft station. Uh, and the tier three drill. But just so you, you know, in case it happens off camera, the next thing that'll happen here is launch platform. That allows us to, to launch various rockets and satellites up into space. One, you know, one of those being a communication satellite, which then opens up our map. Uh, this will be a grass spreader, so we can start doing, you know, grass. This will be a flower pot. Heater, um, a biodome will be next in the heat category, and our first nuclear reactor will be next in the pressure category. So some of those things might unlock. Um, I don't want to do a whole lot of off camera, but you know the fact of the matter is that you know when, especially when I just need to gather these basic resources, you know I don't want to show a lot of that on camera because it just kind of does get a little bit boring. Oh, one more thing I want to do before I let you guys go um, is let's do this this chip that we have just to save a spot. A shredder machine. What in the hell does that do? Destroys object. Oh, so it's a trash bin. Okay. That requires explosive powder. And our first use that we know of for osmium. Interesting. Okay, so with that being said, let's save the game. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.